Hi, Michael Brown again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the overview and workspace for Adobe Bridge, the sorting, editing, and rating program that is an integral part of Photoshop. In the previous lesson on how to learn Photoshop, I told you that Photoshop is really three separate programs. Bridge, the sorting, editing, and rating program. Camera Raw, the non-destructive preliminary work on your pictures program. And then Photoshop, the big dog. So the first thing you have to do is get your images into the computer, sort them, find the best ones, and then get them out of there and work on them. And that is Adobe Bridge. So we're in this lesson going to look at the overview and the workspace. All right, let's get started. When you're in Photoshop, go to the File menu. Go down to Browse in Bridge. And this is the basic essential mode of Bridge. I have already opened up a folder of items in here. But this is what you see when you get started in Bridge. It's very similar to Photoshop in its layout. There is a menu bar at the top, once again. And on the left side and the right side, in this case, both sides, we have panels. This is a viewing window over here. Every time I highlight a different thumbnail, you see it in the viewing window. And we have access to different panels pretty much the same as was laid out in Photoshop. The first thing we're going to look at is the basic interface. Now, as with Photoshop CS6, you can adjust the tonality of the background and the primary windows. In this case, the viewing window and the thumbnail displays. Go to your bridge, go down to preferences, not camera raw preferences, but bridge preferences. And when that window opens up, you'll see there are several tabs. We're going to deal with the general tab here. And the first thing you see is appearance. And this actually works a little slicker than Photoshop. You have the option of the four different presets for viewing. I personally like this one here. But you also have additional control for the interface brightness. And you notice how that's working separately from the viewing windows. So you can fine tune whatever tonality you like. I happen to still like that. And the image backdrop itself for the viewing and thumbnail windows, you can adjust those separately to whatever tonality you wish. The accent color is the color that you see that appears around the thumbnails. And the way you can adjust that is just pick whichever one you want. What's obsidian? Ooh, why would you have black? Sapphire, that's a little bit dark. Amber, yellow works pretty good, but I like the emerald. The default was the um, kind of a blue tone. It's dark, but this way with emerald, Notice the buttons and the surrounding areas are very, very visible. OK, that's how you adjust your interface. Same way as with Photoshop. So we've talked about the basic interface. That takes care. 